We did it. It's the World Series, baby. Believe it or not, I was never the athletic type growing up. In fact, it wasn't until I moved to Los Angeles that I even had any kind of interest in baseball. But I guess my rite of passage for being a Los Angelino is to be a Dodgers fan. Since the first game of the World Series, I've been enjoying this cocktail I crafted, and I've been having so much fun mixing these up for me and my roommates. And while I initially didn't plan to share this one in the video, I figured why not? Even if people out there aren't a Dodgers fan, they might enjoy this cocktail. My Dodgers cocktail, the Blue Diamond. I'm recording this in the midst of the World Series by the time it goes live. Maybe we'll have won. If you don't know who the Dodgers are, they're a baseball team from Los Angeles. And what cocktail is more Los Angeles than the margarita? So it was only a given that this drink would be loosely inspired by that. But I've rambled enough. Let's get this through so I can get back to watching the game and you all can enjoy this tasty drink. This is gonna be a shaking cocktail, so you're gonna need a nice old shaker. First thing you're gonna want for this cocktail is three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Up next, you could use agave or simple syrup here. Either way, you're gonna just want a quarter of an ounce. Up next, we gotta get that lovely Dodger blue color in there. So we're gonna be using blue curacao. Blue curacao, while never the best spirit on the bar, is one of my favorite ingredients. Yes, it is literally just curacao with blue food coloring added. And on top of that, no, you know, nice artisan brand typically makes blue curacao. So this will never be as good as a Cointreau or Pierre Ferrand or whatnot. But God, if I'm not a sucker for that beautiful ass blue color. So just an ounce of this. You could just as easily throw some blue food coloring in your own bottle of curacao, but it's not quite the same, is it? Up next, just two dashes of orange bitters. I'm using Angostura. Simple enough. Up next, just two ounces of any Blanco tequila. Last but not least, we are going to use one egg white. I know some people might have worries or issues using egg white in a cocktail, but the citrus and some of that acidity in the lime is actually gonna help in a way cook that. I don't know all the science, and if you either don't eat egg whites or you're worried about this, you could try a vegan egg white alternative here. And you want that to sit for about 10 seconds, that's going to kind of allow the egg white and the citrus to do its thing. Now we're gonna do what's called a dry shake. This is basically shaking your cocktail before you put the ice in, and it's a technique used whenever you do an egg white cocktail. Caution here though, because what essentially allows you to shake your drink so easily is the kind of change in temperature. The cold temperature created by the ice helps create the vacuum so your drink doesn't spray everywhere. So hold it tight and just be aware that it might get some drops. And because we want this egg to be nice and frothy, give it a nice hard shake for about 10 to 15 seconds. Pop it off. Now add our cube of ice and we shake again. Now take a Collins glass and rub some of that lime peel on the outside of maybe half of it. We're just gonna roll that in some salt. Now do a nice gated pour right into the drink. As some of that foam settles, it's gonna make a lovely two-tone cocktail. Blue on the bottom, white on top, just like our Dodgers. Lastly, maybe as an homage to the Dodgers' Brooklyn roots, we're gonna add a little bit of seltzer on top to make this more of a fizz. There it is, my World Series cocktail, the Blue Diamond. Let's give this doggy a little taste. That's a home run. It might just be me, but I always find 
a blue cocktail to be tangier. It's probably just the color playing tricks on my mind, but you get almost a tangy margarita going on here with a lovely cream from the egg. The salt on the rim was actually a last minute decision, but I think it works super well with it especially getting that egg foam mixed with some of that salt. There's so much going on in here, and it's a pretty straightforward cocktail in terms of construction. I hope y'all enjoyed my Blue Diamond. I'll be back soon with more cocktails, so y'all take care.